Hi guys and welcome back to a new video. In today's video I will be talking about pet charms and I will explain how you can make a lot of gold with these items. More importantly I will explain what are all the different pets you can purchase with these pet charms and then explain which are the ones with the best value and the best sell rate and the most interesting ones in order for you to make a lot of gold. So as a brief introduction, pet charms are these items that have been added into the game back in Legion. In Legion, we had a previous version called the Brilliant Pet Charms, and now with Battle for Azeroth and Shadowlands, we have the Polished Pet Charms. The main use of this new currency is to purchase different type of items, such as pets, toys, and other like items and consumables linked to pet battles. So this is really easy to get. All you want to do is complete different type of activities. Uh, the easiest one is the comment table. You just like have some missions that can reward you with some of these pet charms. It's really easy to do. Other than that, you have like some world quests. So for instance, here, as you can see, you can defeat uh, some opponents and get some polished pet charms. And then you also have like some daily quests and some containers that can contain some of these polished pet charms. As this is a currency that is bind to your account, this is extremely easy to get and you can send them on your different alts in order to have a lot on the same character. So when you get the Polish pet charms, then you can go and multi like many different vendors will sell some pets or other items. All you want to do is buy the pets and then go in your journal and simply put the pet in the cage and like that you will then be able to sell it on the auction house. So this is really easy to get and you can make quite a lot of gold with the different pets you can buy with the pet charms. Just for you to know, some of them can be purchased with 50 pet charms and some others can be purchased with 10,000 pet charms. So as you can imagine, the value of these different pets is going to vary a lot from one to another. So the goal of today's video is for me to really explain what are the most interesting ones on both European realms and US realms and to help you find some great pets to buy with these different pet charms. So if you go on Warhead in the page for the Polish pet charms, you will see that you have like all these different pets and all these different items that you can purchase. So the cheapest ones are all these different items and consumables that are linked to uh, pet battles. Then the cheapest pets are the ones you can buy with 50 uh, pet charms, then you have some for 75, you have some for 100, 150, 200, 250, uh, 300, 500, and finally 10,000. 10,000 being the most expensive one and the one that you can purchase in Shadowlands. So all these different pets can be bought uh, in different locations through different vendors. Some of these pets will require you to have some specific reputation unlocked. So for instance, here, as you can see, you need to be exalted with Rajani. For this one, you need to be friendly with the Court of Night. Another important thing to keep in mind is that for some of these pets, you will need to have another currency in order to purchase the pets. So for instance, for these two, you will need some of the grateful offerings. And for this one, you will need some Stiga. So, as you can imagine, again, all these different pets have different values. And so what I did is that I went on the Undermine Journal and for each of these pets, I looked at the value, like the medium value on European realms and on US realms in order to see which are the most interesting ones. So based on this information and also the sell rate in game, I've been able to put together this table where I'm highlighting really all the different pets, their value, their sell rate, and then I came up with my own ranking system that I will explain just after. So as you can see, really the value can vary a lot. So right now, all the different uh, prices are based on the US prices. So from the most important one to the cheapest. And as you can see, it is very different from one pet to another. So of course, you have the one that is uh, like worth the most is the one you can buy with 10,000 pet charms. This one is worth 285,000 gold and 120,000 gold on European realm. So this one is definitely uh, like, uh, I would say like not so interesting right now because really it costs so much and the value is not so interesting. Then on European realms, the best pet you can buy with 250 is going to be Carpal for almost 32,000 gold. And 
with 250 on US films, the best one is going to be the Steward Feverling for 40,000 gold and 700. After that, for 300 uh, of the pet charms, the best one, and this is actually probably like uh, one of the only uh, pets you can buy with 300, is going to be uh, the Wind Feather Chick, 2,900,000 uh, gold on, Euro on European realms and 30,000 gold on US realms. After that, you have, so some of the best over like for 500 is the Accursed Exer. This is the only pet you can purchase with 500. This one is worth 20, uh, 28,000 gold on European realms and almost 30,000 gold on US realms. After that, for 200 gold, the best on uh, US realms, as you can see, is the Swamp Toad with uh, 25,500. Uh, and then on European realms, it's the Col Corlan Falcon for 26,500. Then when it comes to the 100 uh, pet charms, so the best is the child of Jani on both European realms and US realms, 18,000 gold on European realms and 17 on US realms. After that, for 75, the best on US realms is the mechanical prairie dog, 16,000 gold, 300. And on European realm, the Dressbar piglet, 13,000 gold. Uh, after that, for 50, we have as the best pet on US realms, uh, the Great Wing, almost 12,000 gold. And for European realms is going to be the Zandalari Shin Chopper, 9,000 gold, 900. After that, when it comes to the Celerate, which is also something very important that you want to keep in mind, as you can see, for most of them, it's going to be around like 0 0.06 or 0 0.08, but you have a few that are very interesting. So the most important ones are, of course, all these ones that, as you can see, are worth almost nothing. Uh, some of these pets can be sold for almost 300 gold. And this is just because you can get these pets through over means by completing like over activities, opening different chests. So this is why these pets are not rare at all and not worth nothing. But after that, some of the best sell rate is going to be this one, the Seabreeze Bumblebee 0 0.21. Then you have the Steward Feverling 0 0.12. You then have the Domestic Onion 0 0.15 and the Stan, Sand Stinger Wasp 0 0.10. So, oh no, the, the Flufa is 0 0.10. So these are some of the, let's say, like uh, pets that will sell the fastest. But again, what you need to keep in mind is that you want to have a pet that at the same time doesn't cost too much, has a pretty good value and a pretty good sell rate. So based on all these different information, my ranking for the European region is the Zandari Shin Chomper as the number one, simply because it's only 50, 0, 0.0 weight in sell rate and almost 10,000 gold. After that, at number two for the European region, I have actually the uh, Great Wing. So 9,800, 9, 0, 0.06 and 50 as well. So pretty good um, still. After that, we have the Steward Feverling. It's 250. It's um, 29. Almost 30,000 gold. And what is really good is again the sell rate, 0 0.12. After that, we have the child of Jani, um, 18,000 gold and 0 0.08 for 100 of these pet charms. Pretty good in my opinion. At number five, we're going to get the Sea Breeze Bumblebee for 250. Even if, as you can see, the value compared to, for instance, to Carpal that is worth 32,000 gold is no, nowhere compared to that. It's 0 0.21, so it means that you will be able to sell it really fast compared to the carpal pet. After that, at uh, number six, we have the Sand Stinger Wasp, another 50 uh, pet charms, 9,600, 0.08. And then the Barnacle Hermit Crab, 50 as well, 9,800, 0.04. Then at number eight, we have the Dresspar Piglets, 75 and it's worth 13,000 gold with a sell rate of 0 0.04. After that, the mechanical prairie dog, 12, almost 13,000 gold as well and 0 0.03. And finally, at number 10, I actually haven't put my number 10, but I would probably like put, uh, the, the car paw because it's one of the, like, you know, like highest value that you can have on European realms and it's only 250. So car paw would be my number 10. Then when it comes to the US realms, so for the US realms, my number one is going to be Great Wing. I think 12,000 gold with 0 0.06 uh, for only 50 pet charms is really good. 
After that, we have the domestic onion. Uh, this one is nine, almost 10,000 gold, 50 plus the 1,500 stiga for 0 0.15 cell rates. After this one at number three, we have the steward feverling, 41,000 gold, 0 0.12 for 250 is really good. Then at number four, we have the Zondalari Chin Chomper, uh, 10,000 gold, 0 0.08, and it's only 50 again. Then at number five, we're going to get the Bati. This pet is worth 250, and you can sell it for almost 47,000 gold with a sell rate of 0 0.06. Then at number six, we have the Child of Jani. Wonder is this one cost 100 pet charms. It's worth almost 18,000 gold and a sell rate of 0 0.08. Number seven, we have the mechanical prairie dog, 75 pet charms, 16,000 gold, 0 0.03 sell rate. Then at number eight, we have the sand stinger wasp. And then at number nine, the barnacle hermit, uh, crab. And finally at number 10, we will get the flawless amethyst bubble worm because on U.S. realms, it's still almost worth 300k gold with a sell rate of 0 0.06. So even if, as I mentioned, by spending these 10,000 on the uh, Great Wing, for instance, you will be able to make more than 2 million, 200 or 300k gold, you will still be able to sell this one only at once, uh, which just makes it easier. So it really depends on how much you are, you have, but for me, I'll just put it at number 10 for US realms. So, this really is something that is based only on the average sell rate and the average value. So of course, what you always want to do is to go and first check your realm. So for instance, based on this, you know, ranking, you can see that the best one right now in the US is going to be this uh, great wing. But what you want to do is go on your realm, check on the auction house, what is the current value, and then just assess whether this is the pet you want to invest in or not. If you want to know how to purchase all these different pets, you can simply go on this page. It's available in the description and you can like type the name of the pets and you will just be able then to click on the pet and it will tell you exactly where to buy it and how much it costs. And like that, you will be able pretty easily to, yeah, get your hands on these different pets. So as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, you also have another version of these pet charms, the ones from Legion. It's actually the shiny pet charms, not the brilliant ones. And so with these ones, you can buy a few pets and like also some toys. So for these ones, the most interesting pets are going to be the Fell Piglet, uh, the Autumnal Sputning, and the Alarm Obot. But definitely for me, I would recommend you to instead buy the different toys because you can buy and sell these different toys on the auction house. And so like that, you will be able to make way more gold because people will spend more gold on toys rather than pets. And so as you can see, this one that you can buy with 550, you can sell it for 10,000 gold on average. And this one, uh, 400, you can sell it for like between 13 to 24,000 gold. So that's going to be pretty much it for today's video. I really hope it will help you make some gold. Again, the Excel sheet and all the links are available in the description. So please feel free to have a look. And yeah, I will be back very soon with more guides and with more videos. And in the meantime, I wish you all a great weekend. Bye.